Warning, this article contains spoilers from The Crown. The Crown fans will remember way back in season 1 when Princess Margaret, played by Vanessa Kirby, fell madly in love with Captain Peter Townsend, Ben Miles, who was 16 years older than her. They wanted to get married but as he was a divorcee, Queen Elizabeth II, Clara Foy, forbade them from getting hitched and so they parted ways. Season 5 of the Netflix period drama fast forwards to the 1990s when the star-crossed lovers cross paths once again. Princess Margaret and Peter parted ways when they didn't get approval from the Queen for their marriage. He left and a few years later in 1959, Peter wrote again to Margaret but this time explaining he was to marry 20-year-old Marie Luce Jemag. She was left devastated as before they departed, the couple had vowed never to marry anyone else. Margaret and Peter did not speak for decades and only met up again in 1993, a couple of years before he died from stomach cancer. Dick Strawbridge's son speaks out on half-siblings owning Chateau the pair met when they had lunch together at Margaret's Kensington Palace apartment. It is reported she recalled Peter looking exactly the same, except he had grey hair. During The Crown Season 5, Episode 4, Peter tells his ex-girlfriend that he kept all of her letters and offered to return them to prevent them from falling into the wrong hands. She went on to reveal that she had kept all of his love letters that Peter sent during their relationship. What happened to Margaret and Peter Townsend's letters? According to What to Watch, all of the letters Princess Margaret and Peter Townsend sent to one another are in the Royal Archives. They are not going to be made available to the public until 100 years after her birth, in 2030. It is thought that Peter was the love of her life but she did go on to have a number of romantic relationships. Shortly after her relationship with Peter, Margaret became engaged to Billy Wallace who had frequently proposed to her over the years. Dot Anton Deckface calls to quit from him a celebrity, exit Harry and Meghan's anticipated Netflix series to air next month. Royal Vanessa Guillen is the subject of Netflix crime documentary, Explainer, their engagement was never formally announced and was short-lived as he admitted to a holiday fling while he was in the Bahamas. Margaret first met her future husband photographer Anthony Armstrong Jones, Matthew Good, at a dinner party in 1958. The pair had a turbulent romance, getting hitched in 1960 and she had two children with him, David Armstrong Jones and Sarah Chado. Sadly, their love affair wasn't to last as Margaret and Anthony divorced in 1978. Princess Margaret didn't remarry after Anthony and despite their years of marriage, it is believed that the real love of her life was Peter. Reflecting on his romance with her in his memoir Time and Chance, Peter talked of how he wasn't allowed to be there because she was part of the royal family. He wrote, I simply hadn't the weight, I knew it, to counterbalance all she would have lost. The Crown is available to watch on Netflix.